Hello and welcome to this WP Zoom video screencast. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to translate your WP Zoom theme. I'm going to use a plugin called Translate Press, but before we do that, we'll start um, by heading to Settings and then General. This is from the WordPress dashboard, and it's the same regardless of which theme you're using here. So we'll go to the WordPress dashboard and we'll set the site language. If you want to change the language of the whole site, including the uh, dashboard, for example, then you can choose between installed languages. So right now I have United States English and you have all of these translations available. Here, um, I'm just gonna set this to um, say French. And if I save those changes, WordPress is going to download and install and then set up the French translation. So we can see it's now translated and we can now um, continue with um, the uh, translation. So we'll go to plugins and then add new. And here we're going to um, search for translate press. This is the free plugin, um, which is going to allow you to um, easily translate your entire site um, from the WordPress customizer. So we're going to press install and then activate once that has downloaded. Just wait a second for that to set up on the site. I'll turn blue in a second and we can now activate this. With this activated, we're gonna see that you've got this um, new translate site button added, as well as under the settings, um, you're gonna find a translate press um, set of options there. So this is where um, you can set all the options relating to the plugin. The most important one is going to be um, setting the default language. So this is the language your website is written in. So it's also detected French because that's the language of the site, but we do actually want to set this to English because it was written in English. Um, so I guess it has English at the top. It was written in English and we want to translate it to French. So that's um, a key distinction there. So let's set that to French. You'll see you have a bunch of other options, including um, using automatic translation from Google Translate, but you will get more control um, by using a manual translation. And I'll show you how to do that now. So save those changes and you'll now find this translate site icon. This is going to um, bring up a customizer style experience. So you see you get a live preview and you can make changes um, you know, by clicking on, on any of these. Uh, bits of text you want to translate and then you'll see you can translate from French or sorry from English um, into French You can uh, save the translation and then move on to the next one. So say we want to uh, you know, Translate salads um, You see similar to the customizer if you do click on them rather than uh, Click that blue icon. It will actually take you to the page. So just watch out for that as I did not do there um, so you can translate this. So we'll say from English into French and we can save those translations. Now to do the whole site, it's just a case of um, repeating this process. So you can see all of these are translatable and you've got this lovely, um, what you see is what you get, um, editor and preview. So I'll save those translations and once we're done, we can leave the site and we'll see that now at the bottom of the page, we can easily translate the site. And users can choose between um, the language we've added. The free version of Translate Press uh, lets you select one language, um, and with the pro version, you're able to set multiple languages. So you can see that done there. If we head back to the settings then, um, you can change any of those languages. So um, you'll see you've got a load of options like um, change whether the, uh, Switcher at the bottom uses the native language name, um, whether it's in English, um, you've got a bunch of options there. And you can also customize how that language switcher is going to display. So save all your changes once you're done. And um, that's your look at Translate Press. I've used the Fudica theme for this example, but you'll find the same process applies to all WP Zoom themes because all WP Zoom themes are translation ready. So that's how to translate your site using Translate Press for your WP Zoom.
theme. Thanks very much for watching.